What's the grossest thing you would say you eat? Do you eat raw oysters? I eat uh -uh. raw oysters. Uh-uh. Yeah. Uh well, you don't eat raw you don't oysters? oysters? Uh-uh, I don't eat raw fish. No raw anything. For real. No, the no only thing I take raw is dick. I don't have <laughs> and vegetables, dick and vegetables. <laughs> so funny, dick and vegetables. So funny, I don't vegetables. serve raw oysters, but I serve raw dick all the time. <laughs> hey, something's burning, something's burning, something's burning. Ladies and gentlemen, brand new episode of Something's Burning. My good friends, Tiffany Haddish and Ryan Sickler. Something's burning. Something's burning, and it's weed. <laughs> it's fucking weed. Oh, this side Mine's, of the table. Yours is burning. <laughs> Both of you guys are burning. So now, here's the deal. So I'm gonna make it I'm burn gonna make it. homemade hummus for you guys because I know you're hungry right now. Yeah. God, oh, 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 yeah. Bring that in. But I'm racing oh, an ingredients. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank I'm racing you. an ingredients. So I'm gonna try to make my own tahini. 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 Tahini is an important tahini. ingredient. And so what I have what to do? What is tahini? I have no. It's basically roasted sesame. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. So Did you know you could roast sesame seeds and mix it with olive oil and make you a nice hair grease that will make your hair grow? That's what about, I'm making. About to That's what I'm right actually, exactly what I'm making. We're having hair oh, wait, grease. Wait, are you are you burning the olive oil? No, no, no. I'm toasting the sesame seeds. Uh huh. And then I'm gonna put them in this Food processor process. with olive oil, and I'm gonna I'm gonna. Uh, grind like it up and turn it into a paste. Process. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm gonna lemon. throw garlic, lemon, salt, uh, a little olive oil, and some garbanzo <laughs> beans. Stop <laughs> the tahini, <laughs> made it. Are you shitting me? The hummus. The hummus. Oh. You're making hummus. Okay. All right. I got real hummus, and then I'm gonna homemade hummus. We're gonna taste test. Do it all. You're still racing the tahini, though. I'm racing the tahini. I got real hummus. Okay. Cool. I gotta go see Dwight Yoakam tonight. Who is that? He's Where? a country western artist. Oh my god! Yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. Sorry, I had yeah. to do my roller decks of people. Um, sling Blade. He's in Sling, he's in Blade. sling Blade. Mm -hmm. He's a, uh, he's a uh, like he he's the they they say the Bakersfield sound. Yeah. So he would be like oh like a it's kind of honky tonk. Fast a little as bit. you yeah. was a real popular Leanne song. Leanne freaking had. loves him. Yeah. So this will be the. Those Store country bought. dudes, you never know those country dudes are bald as shit till they take that cowboy hat off. He is. He is. Tim, uh, what's his name? Tim McGraw is bald as shit when he takes that hat off. Just roasting these? I don't is know. That, is that how you roast? Hey, I'm guessing. I'm guessing. What's that? <laughs> just put your whole hand I, 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 It was a mistake. It was a mistake. Did you watch I know that. No. Yeah, I just watched all my Press hands. You know what? Watch them again just he to reset. I watched just all, all my hands. He said all of them. I mean, because that's on the heat, so that's going, you know, that'll be good. That cook I'll watch them one more time. Just bullshit. Be, I watched them a lot. That's going to cook out of some bullshit. It ain't going to cook out. Get it, Tiff. Get it. Roast those seeds. Roast those seeds. Scratching that fucking pan all up. No, I'm not. It's it. Here, we'll throw I'm, like using, I'm not using the chimney it's, it's, it's rusting. Ooh, it's Ooh, nice. toasting pretty I hear good. them popping. Yeah. Okay, you're making them. This is the first time I've ever seen this happen. You, you can know, just get like cook, a spatula. Do you cook, Tiff? Yeah. Oh, I bet. I think I've seen you on Instagrams cooking. Yeah, I cook. Ooh, these are roasting nice. Yeah. Who would be a celebrity that you'd be shocked if I told you they cooked? Like if you're like, that, that person definitely doesn't cook. Tim Dillon. <laughs> He's ordering. He's, uh, he's ordering. He's ordering. I don't bet he doesn't have he's forks ordering. and knives in his house. I bet he goes, just send the plastic ones. All right, it's toasted. It's not going in the way I think it is. No, it's not. I need something to funnel this into it. How do I? That's not going to work the way I think it is. You could probably spoon it. Yeah, that's still, what I would do. I would spoon, spoon it. it. Spoon it until no, you I get it to a point where happen. you, well, regular well, spoon. Well, not, not that kind of spoon. spoon. Yeah. But OK. That works too. Work. Look at you. Innovative. Creative. Ooh. It's still roasting while it's it in the hot pan. There you go. This is nice. He doing God damn it, it, I hear the fucking door opening. He ready. You're doing good. You're doing yes, good. Yes, you opening the door just, to that uh, your own tahini. Yep. With your roasted sesame seeds, and then you're gonna put the olive oil in there. Yep, olive oil in the hair. Mm -hmm. This is all, I mean, this is like, I don't know what. Nice. I don't know why I'd even buy olive oil if it's this easy. That part. It's so easy to make olive oil. Or make a. No, make no, no, not olive oil. Easy to make tahini. It's not that easy to make olive oil. How hard do you think olive oil is to make? It's hard as shit. You got to. One. 
Oh, that's a Jesus half. Christ. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> wow, we've all made fucking hummus before, I guess, huh? Yeah. Jesus. I mean, you poured that like it was vodka, dude. I mean, yeah, you was trying to get somebody pregnant off the olive oil. This is going to be real fucking homemade hummus. This smells like roasted sesame smell, seeds. Smells like dog's feet. Well, you know it smells like a fart to me. It, it smells well, like a white man's fart it to me. It doesn't white man. Yeah, gassy. Very sulfury and plasticky. I think. Oh, dang. And it smells like a little Ooh. bit of a yeast infection, too. Yeah, it does smell like a yeast infection. <laughs> oh, my God. It Reverie absolutely burning. smells like a yeast infection. Here we go. And yeast. This is my... Tahini. I don't think I'm going to eat that. No, it's tip. You're going to be shocked at how good okay, this is. Okay, because it, it smells like a yeast infection. <laughs> it smells like a yeast infection. It's going to lead to a yeast infection. All right. What we're going to do, what we're going to do is we're going to, okay. You ready? You ready? She it's ready. Happening. She ready. It's she ready. It smells weird. It's, done, it's, not it's that very bad. pungent. It's very pungent. It's very pungent. Put a garlic clove, maybe two in there. <laughs> it smells chemically, like you just, you, you busting up some chemicals. I wish this was just a tit picker. <laughs> add, add the garbanzo beans, more olive oil. And what, lemon juice? Lime. It's oh, very... Lemon. Lemon. Okay, what? It's giving, it's giving what? sulfur. Everyone can smell it? It's giving, it's giving if I light a match, it's going to be a problem. It's giving gas tonight. Blue I'm rooting for you, Bert. The, I'm rooting for you, too. It's giving for you. probiotic feel, but not I'm going to taste it no matter like what. Rebiotic. Is that just water? That's just water. That vodka? Just to thin it out a little bit? Cause... Oh, my it's God. looking like hummus. I mean, look out, Sabra. Oh, shit. Look out, Boar's Head. It Bert looks like hummus. A little more water? hummus line. Ooh. You about to have your own hummus line, ain't you? Oh shit! What did I do with my water? Gonna, they gonna be selling it in Walmart? I think so. This is right next to the good. Patty Labelle pies. Yeah, that's where I'm gonna be. Right next to Patty Labelle pies. All right. You need to light Come some on, weed. Baby. You need to light some weed just to clear the air of the sesame seed. Nothing. <laughs> Motherfucker! It's hard to have a conversation when this thing's on, huh? Yeah, but. You can open that door. Yeah. Get it. Get it, Bert. Get it, Bert. I'm rooting for it. That looks good, dude. It looks like hummus, right? It's passing the sight. It's passing the sight test for sure. Cracking it, cracking it, cracking that door. Cracking it, cracking it, cracking that door. Hey. Cracking it, cracking it, cracking that door. Your backyard is nice. Oh, thank you. It's nice. Should I? It's all clean and stuff. It looks like it's a little darker. You but. got the fake grass. It's nice. You you rich, huh? Damn, right. bro, you rich. Somebody, play a game. somebody, somebody me. rich. Oh, wait, you're going to do a game? game? Okay, gonna I'm, do? I'm just going to hold this over here. Now. Here's what we're going to do. I like when rich people cook for other rich people. All right. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put my hummus over to the side. And you've got to guess. <laughs> You gotta guess. I'm gonna go with the more brown one. I was gonna say. <laughs> it's yours. Or the chunkier one. I think I can get it. Hold on. I'm gonna really razzle dazzle <laughs> mine up so that you're like, God damn it, Burt's does look good. Do we have like paprika? Oh, look at this. You know they always do this. Mm hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. With a little That's bit of olive beautiful. oil on top of it. Because they always do this. When you, when you get someone's hummus, it's always like a little extra. Like, go like, like. Oh, a little olive oil. Nice. Hold that. Looks good, Bert. It really does look good. It looks very right. good and good be, for you. Be dead fucking serious, okay? Here we go. Yeah, that I is I would like beautiful. you to see. Which one would you buy if you walked into a store? Which one would you get? If you were serving to your friends or family, which one would you rather serve? Now, let's get the taste test. Guys. Here we go. That's the bee man's hummus. Mmm. 
It's warm, too. It's, mm. it's warm. It's warm the way it's served in the Middle East. Actually, I'm good, dude. It's like if you're Probably going... Probably could dial back on that olive oil that I washed and mm. dumped in there, but <clears throat> outside of that... Yeah. I'm going with an try A the minus. One, try the a other minus. one and say, and it's going to it's going to taste store bought. You're going to taste that one's going to taste like, like, like your. <laughs> wait, wait, which one do you like? <laughs> okay, I got to try it now. I got to try it. Hold on. Okay. It's the hot and the cold that's fucking with me. But okay. I'm going with yours. I'm going with yours. I don't even like carrots, and I'm going to fucking do it with a carrot. Mm. Right? It's not that bad. Yours is not that bad at Let's all. Let's try the other one. Let's try the other one. I'm going to double. I'm going to flip around. So. This one's got a little bit more tang to it. Yeah, yours has a very nutty flavor. <laughs> and <laughs> the <laughs> other has a more vinaigrette type of, like, yeah. a, little, like a little razzmatazz. Got a little more, um, maybe there's a, a creamy in there or something in the, in the store bar. There's something a little extra in the store bar. It's probably little. just preservatives. Because I didn't use any preservatives in mine. Probably a little vinegar. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe some garlic. I think I could have used more garlic in mine, probably. Maybe a little onion. I bet. I, but I gotta be honest with you. If you didn't know, and you were at a party, you'd be like, "That's not that bad." Hundred percent. And if I'd I was like, at a restaurant, I wouldn't send that back. If they brought it out, I'd be like, "I guess this is how they do their hummus." I would, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest with you. Heavy on the double O. Party. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, you know, you know. That brown one's a little nutty. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little nut flavor to it, like, yeah. All right. And then I just, this one I got, this one got more beans in it. Yeah. You think that's what it is? I bet, more beans. Mixed, I bet if you did mix the both, I bet they're good. Did a little. Or half and half. A combo. Yeah. Well, I got you guys the snacks. I know you're hungry, but here's what I'm making you guys today. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. Crab cakes atop. Shrimp and grits. Get the fuck out of Play here. Play with me if you want to. Let's see. <laughs> Come on. I That's great. the best reception to a recipe I've ever had. So Come what on. I'm going to do, I'm going to make the crab cakes. I'm going to throw them in the fridge. I'm sitting there for like 20 minutes. Put them in the oven. Bake them. I'm gonna, while I do that, I'll make the shrimp and grits. It's going to be perfect. Everyone's going to be happy. Let's do this. Let's, Let's do, do this. The black unicorn. Last black unicorn? The last black unicorn. What? Uh, what's the craziest business you've been pitched? Like by like by people that brought you. I, mean, I know you get pr brought businesses. Like you came in, you came in. Like we've known you for a while, but you showed up to America in like a fucking coke bump. Like you, you literally got on the scene like a holy shit, Tiffany Haddish. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 I know businesses have come your way, and they're like, hey, let us. We want to work with you. We uh, do dot 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 dot. What's the craziest business you've been pitched? I don't know. Um... Nobody's giving you an invention or an investment idea or... Oh, yeah, there's been a bunch of inventions, stuff that, like, cleans water. Or... I got offered spider loans. The fuck is a spider loan? I don't know. <laughs> Someone's like, spider loans. I was like, spider loans sound good to me. Do you ever wonder, though, NFT if you get... galores. If NFT. You get... I never got into <laughs> NFTs. No, me either. That just sounds shit. It sounds like you're ripping like, people it's off. It's not real money. Yeah, like... It's it, only yeah, real it's... if you can cash out. No, thank you. It's energy. I'm good. Like, I don't get it. Yeah, I don't get any of that shit. My dad told me one time, buddy, you got really lucky finding something only a moron could do. <laughs> so stick with that. <laughs> don't think that you should be opening stick bars and yeah. fucking restaurants yeah. and NFTs. That's where those athletes go wrong. They're opening up restaurants and shit. Like, you don't know how to run a restaurant. But somebody right? wanted me to open up a, 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 a car wash with a strip club attached. No. Well, now hang on. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> you just brought up, that's a good... I, I mean, if I'm at the car, you know, I'm going to be there for 2025 at least. A car wash with a strip club attached? I mean, that could do well. Especially Wait, are if you the got strippers some good... washing the cars and they're covered in suds? No, the strippers aren't washing the cars. They got like regular car wash people, and then you go into the strip club, which is attached to the car wash. Mm -hmm. And there's and like you gourmet food, too. Mm -hmm. It's like a five star restaurant as well. Tiff. So you got good food, you Send got ass guys shaking way. all around. And you got your getting your car washed. Send these guys my way. This sounds like a great business. Yeah, but that's what's popping in. That's <laughs> that's in Atlanta. I've heard a lot of ideas. I, I mean, I kicked a guy out of my band, and he started a band called Creed. Yeah, I, mean, I know. Guy, I love, right? I love yeah. it. Yeah, I'm the I'm the last guy to have like great ideas. Or even like even I think about some things too. Like if you would have pitched me 
Dancing with the Stars. I would have said, who the fuck wants to watch Stars Me? dance? I want to be on that show and so kaboom. bad. I can make that happen Man. today. Nah, I can't. I, 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 well, you'd be you great on it. it. You'd be great yeah. on it because your energy is pure. You got the feet for it. Yeah, and I'm, I've been wanting to be on that show since it started. For real? Yeah, and then I you was trying to get singer. on it, and they wouldn't let me too. do it. You can fucking sing. Did you ever see her uh, uh, fucking... Uh, well, fuck the fuck. Yeah, I worked on the show with you. Oh, guys. yeah, yeah. What was yeah. that? I was, I was your producer, your producer. The goddamn well, comedy I also jam. saw her do it at the. I also I saw I her do it at the. Um, He's doing good. Gentle. Okay, okay. Oh, because you grew up I'm in gonna, Maryland. Now I got to fucking. Um, I got you. I'm trying to mix it. As long as the flavor um, right, it don't matter how thick it is. Uh, well. That's how that's how I see. All so my wait, people. so wait, goddamn comedy jam. But I saw her also do it at the um, what was that theater called over there on on La Brea where we did it first. Na the Nate Holden? No, 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 on La Brea. But she killed it there too, dude. So wait, oh, you like the, no. you like the show so much? You even came in and you did like a backup singing for Owen uh, Smith. That's how I got on the yeah. show. Yeah, I did mm -hmm. it for I him was first. There. I was watching. I love you. Were great. I did a backup singing for him that's first. Right. And then Josh was like, oh, hell yeah, you can yeah. do, you want to do us perform, you can perform here. So like we have a weird connection, me and Tiff, because, well, first of all, we did Reality Bites back, back in the day. Yeah, way back in the day. Way back in the day. But then randomly, Leanne said, I think it was when we were doing that show, Leanne said yeah. to me, do you know a comedian named Tiffany Haddish? And I went, I, I do. I go, and I, we're doing a show. And she goes, for real, you know her? And I said, yeah. And she goes, I know her grandmother. And I was like, what? Her grand, Leanne and Tiffany's grandmother. Is that right? Yeah, they work together. Worked together. They work together at uh, Larry's Primary Restaurant. Yeah. Where? Larry's Primary Restaurant. In I mean, Beverly Hills. Oh, out here. Yeah, out oh, here. Yes. And so Leanne will hear stories about Tiffany from her grandma every night. So then we're at home. You do goddamn comedy jam. We're taking the girls to school, and and I'm waiting for my episode. So I'm watching the new episodes come up, and Tiffany's episodes on, and I go, hey. Leanne, here's, here's Tiff. She's doing uh, Goddamn Comedy Jam. And the girls come out. We're getting ready to take her to school. Oh, my God. And, I know. And, and she does uh, uh, no. Proud Mary. Proud Mary. And the fucking cape comes off yeah. and the stomping. And that heavy Leanne, ass dress. Leanne that thing was heavy. Leanne's crying. Leanne's crying, going, like, This is fucking amazing. <laughs> and George and I was like, Who is she? Who is she? And Leanne's like, It's Tiffany Haddish. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. My girls know people we in a weird way. Like, they only know Amy Schumer because she killed our hamster. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Ah, she killed our hamster. We, we, what was it? It was, uh, it was not totally her fault. It was a. Uh, it had an illness, so it needed uh, insulin shots, and you're supposed to like pinch the skin and then uh -huh. put the needle in the skin. And she just shoved it in his back into its spine and gave it the shot. No, and the thing went ee, ee, ee. <laughs> no. And, and died. Wait a minute, yeah, your well, your hamster had diabetes. You had to give an insulin shot? Yeah. What the fuck was you feeding this hamster? I also don't give I'm hearing people <laughs> with, do I, with it doms wasn't a on uh, to fucking okay, listen, Prozac okay. and shit. What are we talking about? Dude, I'll we, tell you what. You got your dog on Prozac? No, I said I'm hearing about people doing this shit. I'm saying dogs today wouldn't have even survived in the fucking 80s. None of these Dude, dogs today no. wouldn't have fucking been able to hang in the in no, 80s. Yeah, everybody was outside. Not one in of the them. In the backyard. Not one of them. Not one. Let me tell you something. We we put our dog down yesterday. And, I'm uh, sorry. I know I was talking to your wife sucked. about it. It sucked. But it was, it's a weird conversation because I said it's, uh, it's her kidneys. And we're like, oh, she's 16, 17 years old. I'm like, okay. And Leanne goes, do you want to get a kidney transplant for her? And I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, yeah, what? Hang on, hang on. You're, you're, you're saying that because Isla's in front of you. And she was like, no, I'm being serious. I go, no, I don't want to get a kidney transplant. <laughs> her dog is maybe last six That's more gonna months. It's going to need a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> kidney transplant. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> $16,000 for a, poor a dog, kidney, like... a kidney transplant. No. What is she, fucking? Well, my dog died in. The top of 2022, that's how I knew the, no, the, the day one of 2022, she died. And my sister took her to the hospital, and I told my sister, just let her be at peace. Is she doing whatever? Just let her do whatever. Let yeah. her go. Like, how's she going to go? She's like, no, I'm going to take her to the hospital. She took her to the hospital. They revived her like three times. 
giving her the paddles. Like, no. Nah. <laughs> that's what they told me. That's, that's what they told me. That's, 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 that's what they built me for. That's what they built me for. That's what the bill <laughs> said. And like 30 <laughs> minutes before I got there, you know, they called me talking about we about to revive her again. I said, let my bitch die. <laughs> let her be at peace. Why you keep bringing her back? She 14 years old. This a blue nose pit bull. She lived a beautiful life. Let her be at peace. Now I got an American bulldog. Because all my black friends like, you going to sit up here and be sad about that one dog? You got money. Go get another dog. Now I got this other dog. This dog is a yeasty bitch. She a got all these clothes. Bit. You got to clean all the folks. Oh, yeah. We got a bull mastiff. We got two bull mastiffs. You, you got to get in their nose. You got to get all in their mm. Like, I mean, she's like, I don't know. I think this, I don't know what's wrong with this. I want to get a pet psychic now. I've been hanging around a lot of white women. They've been telling yeah, me about pet psychics. Yeah, that white. That and I want to get one too. now because she keep peeing in the bed. I don't know what's wrong with her. I I gave her company, you know. I don't know what's wrong with her. You take her to the vet? I took her to the okay. vet. The vet's like she's healthy, you know. She just, maybe she's that's her thing. you a message? And so now this is my Is it like thing. when you come home after you've been gone for a minute? No, just she just daily? do it. She'll look at me in my eyes and sit <laughs> in my bed and pee. She be looking at me like this. But, uh, and she peeing. Is she getting really drunk? Because I piss in the bed if I get really drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got think she's um, getting drunk. We got a Cavalier King Charles uh, Spaniel. This dog's one and a half. You have it now? Yeah, because I... Look, I really love this dog, but if I'm being honest, I'm a, I'm a devoted single dad, and then having a dog That's a and traveling is a lot, right? So... Yeah. Always looking for a dog sitter, somebody to help me, whatever. And um, this fucking dog. My daughter was like, Dad, can we get a dog? And it was during the pandemic. And I just, you know, I got all hyped up. And I said, if the government says you can't have friends, we're getting a dog. And I was like, fucking storm the wrong beach on that one, mother. So many dogs <laughs> storm the pound wrong right now. beach on that one. And so we went to the pound. We went to the pound first. And... During the pandemic, the three pounds we went to, they, they come outside and they tell you you have to go to the website and you have to pick your top five dogs. And I said, why five? And they said, well, one could be taken, one could have um, behavioral problems, one could have health problems. And I was like, we are not taking our fifth choice rescue dog. That motherfucker's going to eat our face off in the middle of the night. What you looking for, bro? I'm looking for... A fork? No, the grits. What the I do grits? with the grits? We're gonna, right. to we're gonna have to make them. They're right here, bro. Right. There you the go. But you thought that then, was more poppy seeds? Is that how many grits seeds? I put in? <laughs> how many, how many so water do I put in? Six cups of water. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's, but where's the box? The box tells me how to make it. You know how to make grits? No. Oh, yeah, I do. Have you made grits before? I can make grits. Come on. Come on. I I've never made out. grits. Three quarters cup water. Watch this. One. And then th this would be. If you did another three quarters cup, that would be. You using tap either. water? No, it's bottled. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one sound of bottled water over there. <laughs> That's under the sick. You can't. Bam. <laughs> like I'm dead. Yeah. Three. He's, you know, like, he's yelling he's over. Trying to get it's bottled. Three quarters of a cup of water. <laughs> And he over there, uh, one and a half. Done wasted two <laughs> gallons of water already. <laughs> you would have been better off pouring one bottle of bottle of water. Wait, do you think you think grits are supposed to be made not with tap water? No, you don't make them with tap water, bro. What do you make them with? Distilled water. Spring water. But see, now hold on, you're Spring boiling water. that, right? What the t the grits? You're boiling that water, yeah, right? Of course. Yeah, so that that will boil out. That's yeah. fine. Yeah, that yeah, handprint yeah. he put on those yeah. motherfucking bird seeds they go. Yeah, I mean, out. I mean, it's just gonna be a little chlorine in there. That's good for it you. It should guess. boil out. It, Boy, should. it should be fine. It that should be one fine. should. Chlorine cook out. don't boil out. I don't know. You have to look at your pots after you cook it. Yeah, they get all water. white and shit. Hey, ta Pop tap water. water? If you use tap water. Me? Yeah, that looks yeah, fucking please. good. This bacon looks fucking good. Is it great. just bacon you put in there? You know and what let it cook so it so bacon, you know let it what render down. You know what would have been really great if you had just took one strip of that bacon and cut it up into a few and pieces wrapped it around. and wrapped it around <laughs> some shrimp <laughs> and put that on the top, use it as garnish on as the, the top one, of your plate. The one like papa shrimp? I mean, I'm just saying, use it as garnish on top of your plate, but now your shit gonna look ugly. <laughs> Tiff, what do you say? I'm, if I'm anything, I'm about presentation. Okay, we're going to see. Gonna, you're going to be like, Amen to that. 
Okay, but if you have wrapped one of the shrimps in bacon and just, just put it on top. Do we have another piece of bacon? I'll wrap one shrimp and bacon. Oh my God, that would be so good. Who's your favorite celebrity you ever met? And, you, and, and be, be regular, regular tiff, right, tiff, tiff right now of like, remember when you met them as a celebrity and not like, because like, you might meet someone. Like Snoop's my favorite. Snoop's yeah. my favorite. He'll always be my favorite because he was Snoop when the second you met him, him and Arnold Schwarzenegger blow me away because they are the thing you want them to be and they let you have the moment you want to have. That's, that's yeah. nice. It's yeah. the coolest fucking thing. Yeah. Dang, but then I might have to say Snoop too because he's always been... He loves you. I love him too. And he's always been exactly what, like, he's always been himself. Like, yeah. he's, it's, he's real to me. So I guess that would be my favorite... Yeah, Snoop's that's so definitely my favorite rapper too. When yeah. it comes to favorite celebrities and rappers and whatnot, mine's uh, Woody Harrelson. Really? Yeah, I got to smoke weed with him, so it was it was a weird thing. It was the late. Yeah, I smoked weed with him too. He's cool too. Was... He likes Snoop. Yeah, it was really? the this was the late '90s, and he was in the movie with Matthew McConaughey back in the day called Ed TV. Do you remember that? Yes, Fuck. when they was yes. letting us know what reality and, TV yeah, right. was about to come through. The yeah. like... beginning of that. 100%. So a friend of mine from college, his name's Mike, he moves out here and he gets hired at CNN as a cameraman. And one day Ron Howard comes in and he's looking for cameramen who also look good because they're going to be on camera in this movie following Woody Harrelson and Matthew McConaughey. Mm -hmm. And he gets the gig. Boom. Like, it's the, like you, you know, that bullshit where like, you just got here 10 seconds ago and you're already in a Ron Howard fucking movie. Like, go mm -hmm. fuck yourself. So I love when that happens. They're at a little bit of a little after shoot, and they're at Barney's Beanery in Hollywood. And he's like, "Yo, Woody wants to smoke weed." I told him, "You have some weed. Come over. Let's smoke weed with Woody." I said, "Boom!" I jump in the car. I drive over, and Woody goes outside. It's just three of us. This homeless dude comes bouncing up to Woody Harrelson. He's like, "Woody Harrelson, give me twenty dollars." And Woody goes, "I'll tell you what." I'll give you $20 right now if you can name three movies I've been in and you see this dude's eyes light the fuck up. He starts that, you know, that little run in place, you know, getting all excited. He's like, all right. He goes, money train. And Woody Harrelson's like, that's one. He goes, white man can't jump. He goes, that's two. And he goes, cowboy way. And Woody Harrelson goes, how in the fuck do you know cowboy way? And he goes, I slept underneath your billboard on sunset. <laughs> Dude, he has a hood on 20 and he rolled out, dude. Oh, that was that's fucking, fucking great. great. It was fucking great, dude. That's fucking great. I love it. So good. I put my crab cakes in the freezer. Oh, okay. Because to get them colder faster. Is that a bad idea? I don't know. We're about to find out. Nah, they haven't, been, find they haven't out. been in there that long. They're good. They've only been in like 10 minutes. They're good. Yeah, I like to cook my shrimp for six minutes. Ooh, like the how old? These look yes. good. I don't Do you live by yourself? I live with success. With what? Success. <laughs> oh, is, is, where does she dance? I mean, all I got in life is my stuff. I was born dance? by myself. She no, dances at the no car wash to no Tiffany got that fucking banger of a fucking joke. <laughs> I live with success. Oh, where does she dance? <laughs> at my house. At your car wash. Um, she danced in my heart. You seem like, I, I feel like, if I was, I feel like if I was you, I would have, I would have, I would have a huge house and then like family living in there. But then I go, I forget you're like also just a regular person. Yeah. It's hard to separate. It really is. Like to watch you live your life, because it's, I mean, it's all over the place right now. Mm -hmm. it, and then to separate the two and go, that's the same Tiffany. It really is fucking Living crazy. in a little three bedroom house with the, you know, 100 square foot, maybe a little more than 100 square feet. I was feet. gonna say, a little more uh, than uh, a, big a, a garden, cake. my garden, my garden. Bigger? Let me see that. That's good. That's okay. Just don't lot. pack it too, you don't want to pack it too okay. tight. You just okay. want to mold it so it cooks evenly right. through there. I got yeah, you. That's nice. I got you. That looks that's delicious. Really good. That's a, it looks good. Well done. Bacon. Oh, motherfucker. Look at what Instacart does. Come in here and get your flowers. Who just did that? Noel, get in here. You just made Tiffany Haddish's fucking night. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Let me help you. Scissors? 
Mm, she got right. And I washed my hands before I sat down. Unless y'all want to see me wash my hands. No. Is that a thing? Some of you like it dirty. By the way, I'll drink off your hands. I'll eat off your hands dirty. Huh? Oh, I got it, boo. Bert, have you ever walked by a table with food left on it and eaten food off that I was about, table? I, I, was, I, I thought you, you know were saying, have you ever walked by a table with food left on it? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever eaten food off someone else's table? I got fired from CDBs for that. <laughs> 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 fired. I got fired. My, I got my dad. It was a big fight with me and my dad. <laughs> you didn't just do it walking out of a spot. You it was, it was fried green tomatoes, <laughs> and I and I heard, only heard about them. Ah. And they weren't making them for us because we worked there. That's a lot of bacon to. No, 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 no. On one no, piece no, of shrimp. No, no, no. no, no. Like putting four condoms like on. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna feel it when it's done. It's, and if you do you feel it, it's gonna be really like soft. No, hey, let me help you with the no knife. No one's feeling the thing in this fucking situation. Let me help you with the knife. Here, here's a knife. Okay. All right, now I'll fix this for you. <laughs> watch, watch. This is what you do, Tiff. Ready? Go like, oh, you did cut it. Yeah. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I know okay. it looked bigger to you because it was in my brown hands, but <laughs> <laughs> it's not that big. It wasn't that big. Okay. Yeah, small hands. <laughs> I guess, in my I guess, small, small brown hands. hands. Beautiful he thought hands. it was a lot. Small he thought it was a hey, lot. Hey, where's another pan, Stace? You know, I used to work at this uh, retirement community. They refused to call it an old age home. Because them bitches was trying to fuck? No, they, <laughs> they, they were like, they were, some of them were healthy enough and stuff. So and I was a bus boy. Um, mm -hmm. But the first part of my evening was to show up to the, the kitchen You're passing and I would now. get right. the meals for the people who couldn't make it to the cafeteria, whether they were disabled or just weren't going to dine in this evening, you would deliver food to their house. Or a mm. cot, they called it a cottage. And I started doing the same thing, Bert. I was like, I figured out a little hack. Because I was like, why are you getting two meals? And um, the guy would be like, oh, because this is a couple. And I go, oh, shit, OK. So I just started being like, can I get two? Like, why do you need two? I'm like, it's a couple. Like, all right. And then that's when I started eating. I would go into a bathroom, and I would sit mm -hmm. there, and I would power down eggplant parmesan. Like, I started trying all kinds of different shit. Oh, it was shit. so fucking You started good. developing a palate. Yeah, in the bathroom See of what the happens? retirement community. <laughs> See what happens when you hang out with elders? <laughs> See what happens when you hang out with elders? <laughs> your, your palate expands. All right, I, think we got, I think we're good with these tips because we're going to put these as a garnish on top. That's the cherry on top. Okay, and we'll do regular we'll, shrimps on the bottom. Okay, but what about just like two more for me? Two more for you would be good, I think. Good call. You ever name your food? Nope. No. You do? Uh, yeah, I'm about to swallow it. You're about to become a part of me. So what are we calling this? Shrimp and grits. We'll just call it. You call it shrimp and grits. I, you call it shrimp and grits. I'm going to call it, this is my success porridge. Success porridge? Right. I'll do, I like that. And I'll the take... crab cake will be my um, abundance pie. Ooh, I need I to like wash that. my hands again. Yeah, I should probably wash my hands because I just fucking raw dog bacon. Make sure you put some lemon on there. Get rid of that fish stink. <laughs> I would not be disappointed in this at a restaurant. Look at me continue to eat this. That's really shit, dude. It'd be better if there was twerking while I was doing that. With what? It's about a teaspoon, right? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want another drink? Um, sure. Okay. I need to refill on my ice. Grits, I got shrimp ready to go. I got bacon, I got crab cakes about to go in the oven. Oh, hey Tiff, huh? we have an ice maker over in the cabinet. I just saw right this here? thing yeah, right that fucking... Christina oh, pulled one over. Oh, you rich, rich! <laughs> oh, you super rich! I'm gonna shit my pants. You got like, you got the ice in the counter. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen that oh, too. Christina God. pulled a cat. I was like, this is ice, You this got ice. counter ice. I got counter ice. Counter ice. <laughs> Yo! Oh. He ready. The one thing, the one thing when I got money, Leanne goes, what, like, we're going to build these kitchens out. What do you want in them? And I said, here, let me get you more. And I, I said, I want good fucking ice. Because good ice will make you feel like Amen. a man. Yeah. Good ice makes you Give feel Give me rich. ice and outlets. Give me yeah. some other I mean, ice, outlets. My ice still coming out my refrigerator. I got to step it up. I got to get some counter ice. <laughs> 
I'll tell you what. I got this ice, right? I got these are big block ice. I got popcorn ice. Popcorn ice. Yeah, popcorn ice is nice. nice. It's, yeah. little, it's, it, it's like the kind you get when you get Chick -fil -A. a Chick Fil A ice. Yes. Yeah. I got popcorn ice. I got uh, I got uh, cubed ice, and then I got rectangle ice. You got all the ices. I, I Rectangle's my least you favorite. You have diamond cut ice. They slide perfectly yeah. in the drink, and then you, you don't get, get the, the, um, like the big rec. You got the big rectangle ice. Well, I got those, but That's I got the those Japan, like, the ball ones. The ball ones. I don't like them because it's like it's like you're trying to like not let a dick in your mouth. You're like, <laughs> oh, how do I get this in? I like it in the summertime because it cool your lips, and then you breathe in cool air. Oh yeah. In the summer, when them big balls or the big cube, yeah. and you're doing like this, it's like cool air coming in your Ooh. nose, cooling your lip. It feels so good. And, it, and sometimes the ice hits your lip just a little bit, and it's like a kiss. Oof. A cool. What's the, like, what's the hottest you've ever been in your life? Do you have a, a point where you remember the, just being the hottest you've ever been, where you're like, I feel like I'm going to fucking die? <gasps> Like, so just, many times. I mean, my when I used to live with my grandmother in her little row home in Baltimore, we, we had no air conditioning. The same thing. It's a hundred and we used to put a thermometer in the house and get up to like a hundred and six. My dad did. He put this thing in called an attic fan. Do you ever have you ever heard of an attic fan? Where it sucks wind. It, it didn't work at windows. all though. You know, what I mean? it's supposed to pull the hot air up into the house and cool the house down by just getting rid of the hot air, but it didn't work at all. Those attic fans. I lived. So I lived in an attic one time that had an attic fan, mm -hmm. and they'd turn it on, and you'd get all the fucking hot air from yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn. <laughs> That's probably That's the hottest you've ever been. <laughs> Just the hottest you've <laughs> ever been. You was probably so skinny. 165 degrees <laughs> it over was there. So it was so hot. Super skinny. <laughs> He's always dehydrated. <laughs> Poor baby. Uh, mm -hmm. sure I think the hottest i ever been in California most of my life, so I would say when I went to New Orleans for the first time, Ooh, I've never been hot. hot like that. Like, I've been in that dry heat, like in like Palmdale or in Nevada, that Lancaster heat, whatever, but yeah, where I thought I was finna die, I thought I was finna drown and like, I thought I was gonna boil to mm -hmm. death. Mm -hmm. Like, I thought, You're I'm like, so we're just standing here and I feel like I'm, I'm in the ocean, like I'm drowning and I'm sweating like I'm drowning in my own sweat. Mm. It's like wearing somebody else's skin, that fucking humidity. That That's humidity what it feels like. plus the heat. When we, like, man, I don't know. I love me some Louisiana, but oh my goodness. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. It's easy to get caught up in what everyone else needs from you. Never take a moment for yourself and think, hey, wait, what do I need for myself? This Whew, is a problem I'm dealing with. Pretty nonstop these days. I uh, I got a lot of plates splitting, I, and I and I and I. Sometimes people ask things from me, and I just say yes right away because I want to make them happy. Listen, we all spend a lot of our time giving. It can leave us feel empty, thin, stretched, and burned out. Therapy can give you the tools to find more balance in your life, so you can keep supporting others without leaving yourself behind. I learned this from Leanne. Leanne is literally the captain of taking care of everyone else's spinning plates. Right now, she's picking up Isla from an overnight. She had to cut her workout short. And I know ultimately she wanted to come over. Sarah Silverman was here earlier. She wanted to come over and talk to her about menopause. And she didn't give herself what she needed. That's why therapy is awesome. Is because then you can go into therapy and talk. Listen, if you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. I only do online therapy. I can't imagine doing in-person therapy. All you got to do is fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash burning today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash burning. Is there supposed the to be thing. heat under the shrimp? Not yet. Okay, Not I just yet. want to just make sure. Soaking that. I'm letting them soak and that grease. this fucking water over here is a soldier. This I son know. of a bitch won't boil over a goddamn It's bitch. boiling. But he don't have it on super high. I don't have it on super high. It's, 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 it's not centered. It's not centered. It's not centered, but he also doesn't have it on... 
Here we go. There We're about go. to cook this bitch there you up. Go. He don't got it on the hottest. He can have it. Here we go. Yeah, but now we're getting ready to oh, stir yeah, in yeah, some yeah. grits. Yeah, turned it up. Stir in some grits. Okay. Put in some cheese. Did you put some? Put in some did you put some seasoning? Um, what kind of cheese do you use for your grits? I do. Uh, cheddar. Can I tell you my favorite cheese is American cheese? Dude, I'm like, trying. I'm with you. I like American cheese too, especially government American cheese. But American you, government cheese is my favorite. Did you ever have that? Mm-mm. You never had American government cheese? I do not believe I have. You ever had a government cheese? I mean, Kraft no, singles are probably the same day. Tiffany, day. I grew up with a little bit of privilege. Okay. Not a ton, like you not a ton, but I think if you, cheese. I think if you, if you saw a highlight reel of my of my childhood, you'd be like, oh, that must have been nice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't deny it. Like it's just, it's silly to deny it, and because you watch people go, you watch people try to lie about it, and go, no, I had it tough, and then you're like, eh, no, you didn't. Like, oh, these grits are gonna be done pretty quick, huh? Yeah, they don't take long. So Is that you what they call instant? Should so I put the cheese in now? A... I don't. I don't... I would turn it on a very low simmer. Yeah, take it yeah, off. Yeah, you probably yeah. had it off. enough that you sit. could take them off. I would agree with right. that. Yeah, let it sit for just like a Ooh. minute or two. And we've got shrimp with bacon in the oven, crab yeah. cakes in crab the cakes oven. Crab cakes in the oven. Everything's about Grits to be plated. Are going. Yeah. Shrimp's about to hit last. Oh, let wow. that sit Perfect. for like one minute. I should put the cheese in now, huh? Mm-hmm. With some seasoning. And all yeah. that. Top to this. Do we have a top to this, do you think? Oh, just gotta do this. Watch this. Put a so plate smart. on it. Yeah. That's what I would do. Perfect. Oh, that's a damn good one. Yeah, but turn your fire off, though. Turn the fire off. I got it. Okay. All right. Shrimp. Shrimp's almost fucking done. Does it make me gay if I hook up with somebody that was born a man, but then they turn into a woman, but they keep their penis, and I get pregnant by them? Nope. First of all, I think gay is a slippery slope these days. I think there's a lot of shit you can do that people go don't think is gay anymore. Oh yeah. Yeah, and so. Uh, so I'm I just saying if they, so will we both be the mama, or would I just I be the mama and they the daddy, but they the mama daddy. No, you, you no. If you birth, uh, I'm not getting into there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I did a podcast with a woman named Rachel Hollis, and she was talking about periods, but she didn't want to offend people. So she was calling women, just referring to them as, to make it clear, bleeders. If you're no. a bleeder. Yeah, that's, I hate that. That's <laughs> what I'm saying, like, I hate that. Like, cause what if, it, what if in a minute they make something where if you do say, I'm a woman all the way. Oh. And you do this and do that. I mean, if you could transplant it's a so, kidney, it, you it, could it, transplant some ovaries and a uterus. If you could do that, I would get on that operation immediately and start having more kids. You? You no, would no, do it? I'm not Talian. I'm not going to fuck you. Can you imagine how big I'd be if I got pregnant? I thought you meant that. Would you do know. it right now? What? If you could have a kid, another oh, yeah, kid yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Without it. Oh, my. God. Okay, I got a proposition for you, bro. I'm uh, harvesting yes, some eggs. I'm harvesting <laughs> some eggs. Get the fuck out of here. How much to buy one of your eggs? I hear eggs for well, sale. I had put, let me tell you something. I, I had donated eggs, but they paid me $10,000. So I don't know how I donated you them. Donated I feel like I sold it? them. Wait, you donated them to? I feel like I sold them because they gave me $10,000. To science? No, to a to a fertility clinic. Are you serious? So hold on. In Orange County. Wait a second. Is that, so yeah. if someone has a baby with that egg, I was supposed to get five more thousand dollars. Oh, hold on, I'm not even talking about the money, Tim. If, if you, someone is that used her your baby, egg. is that your baby? The same way if we donated sperm to someone, they have a child, that's our baby, technically. Is that the same? I'm ignorant to a lot of things, but if you're donating an, over, an egg and that person has a baby with that egg, is that, that DNA still yours? Later, would they be able to test down the line and match back yeah. to you? Of course, of yeah. course. That's fucking yeah. wild. Yeah. So someone has... No, because I never got my five thousand more dollars. No, and they got, oh, and they got twenty eggs. And they, they, you gave them twenty eggs. I need that money. Ten an egg. Ten an egg. Uh uh. Ten, ten for twenty. Yeah, I like that. Thing. Ten, ten for fucking yeah, twenty. I like that. It ten. was not that. It was like literally. 
flat rate ten, but let's go with ten an egg, yeah. But if one took, then it was a plus five. Yeah, so it was ten. Yeah, escalators in the clock. <laughs> That's fucking great. And you never got the five, so you have to assume they never Nobody had Nobody got no, none of my eggs. And then I went over there to look, check it out like a year ago. What do you mean? Where do you go? I went back over there where I gave my eggs up just to see if they were still there. What do you mean to see if they're still there? <laughs> what do you mean? You can go see. I wanted to see about? if my eggs was there. Were they there? No. What do you mean, no? They was gone. It, they was just... a, it turned into a mental health facility. Where the fuck are your eggs? I don't know. You just got random eggs out there moved from a facility that you no longer know where. They probably did. That was over 20 years ago, bro. This is know. the only time I've ever shit. been bummed that I'm not listening to a conversation. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, you sold eggs to a mental facility? <laughs> yeah, it's about right. For $10,000? That's, that's, pretty, that's pretty accurate. It ain't far it fucking off. sounds like it. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't far off. All right. I, was I think we're really 21, close. Twenty one, bro. I'm not judging you at all. I just want to understand how it works. Fuck you, y'all say y'all, y'all say Listen. y'all, y'all be selling. Hold on, for same age. Bucks. Same age. I can't sell I, my sperm I, for twenty five bucks. I call. You know how much money I'd have in high school? I called twenty one places to, do, to donate my sperm. Nobody wanted it. My grandmother. <laughs> Wait, you called your grandma? No, it. my grandmother was pissed because she was saying the whole time, "This is these are still your children. If you do this, I'm against this." Whatever. Really? But I was like, I need the fucking money. But what I learned in doing that is that you can't donate sperm more than two times in a certain mile radius. Yeah, because you because might Because no even though it's not probable, it's possible those two humans could get together and then, unbeknown to them, have, you know, oh, incest how babies. How funny with that? And I was like, well, there oh, goes, you know the, mo- there goes the money. Oh, you know they're doing that right now with that dude. He got like 800 kids or something. Like he's shit. a doctor. He was a doctor at this fertility clinic. And he was just, anytime anyone wanted to get pregnant, he just gave him his sperm. And then Johnny Appleseed at his whole town. And they're all related? They're all related. No. And his community. Yeah. That's fucking. I was like, oh, damn. He like, is he black? <laughs> no, he's a white guy. Well, well, same shit. <laughs> Dick is dick. Hey, you see them? What are you looking at? Those shrimp over there. Yeah, he bite it a little bit, but it's going to be delicious. It's going to be good. Is that an appetizer? Yeah. That came, like out of came out of nowhere. No, it's going to be, it's going to be, it should all, be an appetizer. You guys, we have enough for, you want to try one? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Thanks, because we're hungry. This was a tiff throw together here. It came out. Look at these little tongs you got. Here, I'll put them over. Oh, fuck. Whoop, whoop, that one's. That's all good. Go. They Damn, they hot, juicy. Huh? They look good. You know you what they it. say about the shrimp? What? They say they're the roaches of the sea. Yeah. Yeah. Let's eat them up. In that case, Man, serve so me a fucking eat. roach. So we about to go to the bottom of the bed. Mm-hmm. I can't right. wait. You are what you eat. Get ready for the bottom right. of the bed. <laughs> Get Bring ready for the bottom. I got a peasant's palate. I'm ready. I got a peasant's palate. That's the name of a fucking cooking show. Ooh. Thank you. Mm-hmm. That's damn good. What? That. Oh, it's one thing I didn't make. Right. You cooked it. Ready for? I'm gonna plate it. I'm gonna plate it. Here we go. I'm gonna plate it. This all, all right? Looks fucking great, dude. We got. Grits. Oh shit, Tev. Mmm. Yeah, right. God damn, that bacon's good. Okay. I feel Grits. like the crab cakes could be cooked a little longer. You think? I don't know. They look pretty good to me. Okay, there we go. Now, we got, this is what I'm gonna do. A smattering of these shrimps on here. I'm over here sinning. Sinning. No, you can put some regular ones Here, wait, too. try some regular ones. Oops. And then what you gonna do with the crab cake? And then hold on, hold on. We're gonna oh, go yeah. like this. Not about the bacon bits. Shame on me. Ooh. This fucking looks fantastic. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, looks good, right? Looks good. Hold on. Ooh. It gets better, Ryan. It gets better, Ryan. It gets better. It gets better. Okay. See, and that's how you get your titty sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. 
Oh, oh shit. Damn go. Crab cakes, shrimp, and grits. Here, get rid of the. Oh, you gotta get a here, I'm gonna shot take, of that. I'm gonna take. <laughs> the, the, the out. Yes. And then, Stace, I'm gonna do it. I don't have another pole like here, that. Yeah, because these are the ones uh, with the bacon. Here, pass to me. Mm. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Bon appetit. Cheers. Here, let's get the bon little bacon from this. Yeah. Get that out of here. I'm going to bite all of it at once. All right. That's Let's nice. Try that. Crab cake. Whoa. Okay. That's pretty fucking good. That's pretty, the fucking shrimp. It's really good. It's really good. Baby. Mmm. You did great, dude. Did that surprise you? Mmm. Bird. Yeah. This is fucking delicious. It is, dude. This is fucking delicious. <laughs> and I'm, mm -hmm. Oh, I'm getting my bacon, my bacon shrimp right I'm now. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's better than the hummus. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. It's better than my hummus. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I am proud of you. You are talented. You yeah, are kind. You are a star. You shine. Oh, say it all. I'm drinking it in, Tiff. And your food makes me happy. Mm. Oh. Thank you. It's the only reason I cook. Mm. Thank you. That I'm, is fucking This great. is my dinner tonight, dude. This is fucking great. It's fucking great. I'm not I'm eating sorry. anything when I go home. I'm gonna have to cancel that date I was supposed to go on. <laughs> but who's going out with tonight? Somebody. Somebody. Yeah. A human. Anyone we know? No. No. <laughs> I like small business owners. <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing Haunted Mansion with Rosario? Yeah, that's coming out. I just saw the trailer for that today. It's got Owen Wilson, Rosario Dawson, you. Wait, is that off Disney? Danny DeVito, Lakeith Stanfield, yes. Shut the f Tiff, that's fucking huge. Mm -hmm. That's a big deal. Yeah, congrats. That's a big deal. Yes. What other projects you got coming out? Um, I have After Party Season 2 coming out July 18th. There's um, Landscape of the Invisible Hand coming out, I believe, August 18th. Oh, my or God. Or August 8th. And then um, there's another movie called Back on the Strip that's coming out at the end of August. You're the busiest woman in show business. No, I'm not. But I do have my album dropping this summer. <laughs> you have an album dropping? What's your, what's your album? There's no, it's She Ready Music. She Ready Music? Just, Ryan, you just made your own special. I did. I directed and produced my own special. It's called Lefty Sun. Thank you. It's on my YouTube. Go check it out and just come see me on tour. Tickets are available at ryansickler.com. Mm, see, he be betting on stars. himself and he stays winning. Yeah. Subscribe to the podcast, The Honeydew. It's a be have you done his, have you done The Honeydew? No. Tiff, it is the Tiff best podcast not. out there. His his podcast legit gets views and is fuck the best interviews you've ever done. Well, Thank why you, the Bert. fuck am I here? <laughs> <laughs> this is a fantastic episode. Very well done. Thank dude. you so I'm fucking much. Beyond impressed. Tiff, I love you. We'll be on the road together mm -hmm. for fully. Are you coming to the, you coming to the premiere? Did they hit you up? Um, Wendy's, Wendy, who's Wendy? Premier what? <laughs> hey, this is a great episode. Thank you guys so much. I love you. I love you, brother. Love you. Thank you. Cheers. Awesome job, guys. This episode was brought to you by The Machine.